So uh, I made a lot of frames yesterday and the chop saw cabinet is, is really great. I'm really enjoying using it. It's really convenient to have all of the nails in that drawer and have them all organized. And uh, before we get started, I wanted to answer one question on that project that I forgot to answer on Wednesday. And that is, why didn't I build the cabinet with some kind of wings or support for longer molding? And the reason I didn't was I, I really don't need, need it. And I didn't want to make the project too complicated. Uh, a lot of what I do is make frames. And as you can see, uh, a lot of the frames really aren't that big. But that being said, if I do need a longer support, I plan on making a, a small light box that's the same height. When I put it on my outfit table, it will be the same height as the sacrificial fence on the chop saw. And so when I'm making something that I, I need that support, I'll use the box. And when I don't, I'll probably store the box in the cabinet. Now, uh, for today, I'm making or I'm milling framing material and I'm milling it out of these old boards. This is Douglas fir and these boards come from, or they were, the old floor joists in All Saints Episcopal Church in Bayhead, New Jersey. When the church was damaged during Hurricane Sandy, uh, the builder John Tim gave me the boards to make an altar for the church with the boards kind of symbolic as a rebirth from the storm. And I finished that job more than a year ago and these boards have just been kicking around ever since. And so I'm just going to uh, mill them up for framing material. So I wanted to tell you about this week's auctions. I've got two paintings up for auctions. One is a lemon and garlic and the framing or, or the frame is built with the reclaimed Douglas fir. And I've got another one which is a painting of Rosa Sharon, which is a, a flowering tree that we have here in the yard. And if you want to check uh, these out, I'll put a link to the auction in the description. So I'm going to bring the camera over and just show you the grain of the board and then we can get started. I should add that I pre-milled these boards with my circular saw with the idea that if I hit a nail, I hit the nail with the circular saw and not my table saw or my joiner. So you can see the board is just about two inches wide and it's a really nice straight grain. And that's what I want. I want this straight grain on the face of the frame. So what I'm going to do is first rip the boards at two inches across right about here and once I do that then I'll resaw the boards in the center and then I'll clean up this outside edge and so ideally I'll have molding that measures just about three quarters of an inch and once I mill this down probably an inch and three quarters so again three quarters by an inch and three quarters. Okay, well that took a little bit more than an hour, but it's really worth it because the wood is just beautiful. You don't really see that much straight green Douglas fir today, and when you do, you really have to pay a premium for it. So it's worth the time and effort to take those old boards and turn them into uh, this beautiful molding. But I'm not finished yet. I have to go back to the table saw now and cut in the rabbit. To make the rabbit, I'll set the saw fence at a half of an inch and the blade height at just about 3 16 That will give me a saw curve in the molding that looks just about like this. Once I finish making that cut in all of the molding, I'll stop the saw and talk about the next step. Since I've made the first cut in all of the molding, 
and I want an eighth of an inch rabbit and my stock is three quarters of an inch wide, I've set my fence at five eighths of an inch. I've raised the blade so it falls somewhere in the middle of this kerf. I don't want to cut into this side of the molding and basically what I'm doing now is cutting this part away. Okay, well now that I've got all this molding made, let's go ahead and make a frame. I'm going to make a frame in real time and the frame is going to be seven inches square. I've got a line on my fence at seven inches and you'll see I'm going to make the cut this way and then put the molding over, put the molding at that line and make the next cut. I'll do that four times. together using wood glue and one inch nails and the nail gun. I'll hold the miter tight. You have to lick your fingers to get a grip on the wood. And sometimes I put glue on both sides, especially with very old dry wood like this. And you want to wipe that glue off before it dries. Okay, well, it's really nice to have that wood milled because uh, it's, it's a dirty, dusty job. But once it's done, I've got all this nice molding now. And you can see it's really pretty easy to make a frame once the molding is made. And it's really satisfying too, especially when you're working with a beautiful wood like this straight grained Douglas fir. Now I started, uh, not so much I started, but I made a short video for Facebook today and it might be something that I start doing. It's more of a behind the scenes, what's going on with the project. They're very short, kind of informal videos. And in fact, I had originally thought about doing this for my channel, but I felt like my channel could get a little confusing because <laughs> probably some people already think it is between uh, the woodworking, the art uh, videos, and the beekeeping, I don't know if uh, another kind of topical thing would make sense. But for now, I'm just putting these short videos on Facebook, and today it was kind of a look around the barn and um, a look at what today's project was going to be. It's Friday, and I just started this project today. I was real busy with work this week. So um, anyway... Um, let me know what you think. Maybe I would put those videos on Facebook or on YouTube 
and just have them on a certain day or maybe only do them every two weeks or something like that. But um, I guess that's it. If this is the first time that you've tuned into my channel, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and check out my eBay auctions. Have a great weekend and I'll see you soon.